Where the heck does the milk go in the refrigerator? Today we're talking about why it is important to know the proper positioning of milk inside the refrigerator because all of us had that experience of pouring us a nice cold bowl of cereal, tasting it and realizing things have gone sour and it's all garbage and now you've wasted your whole breakfast and you won't eat it again because you've got that taste in your mouth. We're gonna talk about where the best place is to place this milk. We're also gonna talk about five things inside your fridge that you should not place inside your door. Despite the notion that yes, this gallon size milk jug should go right here in the gallon size bin, that is not the place you wanna put your milk. Believe it or not, the location in your fridge that you place your milk, your fruits and vegetables, your meats, poultry, your cheeses, and eggs all affect the longevity and freshness of those foods. First off, you see this beautiful door behind me. It's so convenient, but it is the very worst place in your refrigerator to store any of those five items. And if you leave your door open too long, it starts beeping at you because bacteria is gonna start to grow on your milk and food, so you should keep your fridge shut most of the time. So where do we store those items? First off, we're going to the milk. This is not the spot. Even though manufacturers market it, want you to put it here, it makes it super convenient. But because the door is constantly opening and closing, the temperature changes are not good for your milk. It potentially allows bacteria to grow quicker. Your milk will sour quicker. What you need to do with milk is put it in a consistent place close to the back of the fridge to keep it cooler than at the front of the fridge. Yes, it may be a little less convenient, but it's gonna help your milk last longer and stay fresh. And now we're talking about eggs. We do not store these on the door. Even though many manufacturers have egg storage containers or compartments on the door, you do not want to place eggs inside the door. You wanna place these inside the fridge in a cooler part of the fridge and you wanna keep the eggs in the carton. This prevents moisture loss as well as prevents the odors and flavors of items inside the fridge getting inside your eggs. Next, fruits and vegetables. So I don't know who is keeping fruits and vegetables inside the door, but if you are, please stop because there's a purpose for that humidity controlled crisper drawer that says fruits and vegetables on it. That's where you need to put the fruits and vegetables in because it keeps the humidity constant and consistent with what's needed to keep your fruits and vegetables fresh. So put it in the drawer with the name fruits and vegetables. And if your drawer does not say that, put it in a drawer, not on the door. But I bet if your fridge has a door, there's gonna be a crisper drawer. Next, we're talking meats, poultry. Where do you store those? Inside a refrigerator. There's many times there's called a deli drawer. Yes, if you have sandwich meats, things like that, that can be stored longer periods of time, you put that in the deli drawer. However, if you have that nice steak or you have that chicken that you wanna use, you, one, don't store it in your fridge for very long unless you're gonna use it immediately. Two, you don't wanna store it high in your refrigerator. You wanna put it on the lower shelves because they can have a tendency to leak and if they leak up high, not only can it make a mess, but it also can contaminate other food inside the refrigerator, which you do not want. If you have meats and poultry inside your refrigerator, don't put it on the door. That's just gonna cause a mess. It's not gonna stay very well, but put it inside the refrigerator and make sure you're planning on using that in a relatively short amount of time. Last but not least, we're talking about cheese. We all love cheese and there's a specific spot in the refrigerator for cheese and that is not on the door. Again, there is a specific drawer for that. It's the deli and cheese drawer. Place it there. It's gonna last a lot longer. It's, it's gonna keep it fresher. And if you don't have a deli cheese drawer because not every refrigerator has it, use the crisper drawer, but make sure the humidity is not too high because you don't want soggy cheese, but that's the next place to put it. I do wanna point out that these are great tips for you, especially if you're experiencing milk not lasting as long or other fruits and vegetables, things like that, not lasting as long as you would expect them to. But use these tips in a way that is best for you as always. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the five things you should not ever store in a refrigerator door. Please subscribe to our channel for other great tips and exciting items. Do you have favorite storage tips in your refrigerator? If so, put them in the comments below. Thank you, bye. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out our other amazing videos here on the Boulevard Home YouTube site. We love you guys and have a great day.